Have you ever noticed your phone getting hot when you're gaming or watching videos for a long time? That heat comes from the battery working hard. But your phone battery is just a few watt hours around 4,000 to 5,000 milliamp hours. Now, imagine an electric vehicle battery. We're talking about 50, 70, even up to 500 kilowatt hours in some heavy duty trucks. That's over 100,000 times more energy than your phone. So when an EV battery works hard, it gets hot, very hot. That's why thermal management is one of the most important parts of an EV battery pack. Let's take two real world examples. The Tesla Model 3 Long Range has a battery pack of around 82 kilowatt hours. The Sani EV 550, a heavy duty electric truck, can reach up to 400 or even 500 kilowatt hours. During driving or fast charging, energy input and output can reach dozens or even hundreds of kilowatts. That much energy means a lot of heat. Without proper cooling, the battery may degrade faster, become unsafe, or slow down charging. So where does all this heat come from? mainly from internal resistance in the battery cells and the conductors. As current flows, even small resistance creates heat. The higher the current, the more heat is generated. External factors also matter, like high ambient temperatures or heavy driving conditions. This is where the BMS, Battery Management System, comes in. It constantly monitors the battery's temperature, voltage, and current in real time. If the BMS detects overheating, it triggers the cooling system, like turning on the pumps or increasing fan speed. It can even reduce charging or discharging power to protect the battery. In some EVs, the BMS controls the heater in winter to warm up the battery before charging. To manage heat, EVs use several types of thermal systems. Air cooling. Some early EVs used fans to blow air through the battery pack. Simple, but not very effective. Liquid cooling. Now most EVs use liquid cooled systems. A coolant flows through channels or cold plates next to the battery modules, absorbing heat. Then it passes through a radiator or a chiller to release the heat. Refrigerant direct cooling. High-end EVs may use refrigerant from the AC system for faster, more precise cooling. Now let's compare cooling design in Model 3 and Seni EV 550. Model 3 uses a liquid-cooled pack with cooling plates under each module. Temperature sensors connect to the BMS for precise control. The whole pack is sealed and insulated. Seni EV 550 has a much larger battery pack. It uses longer cooling tubes, high-flow pumps, and reinforced tray supports. The BMS in this case also balances the temperature across multiple packs, Thermal management is more than just cooling. It's a smart system controlled by the BMS. It protects the battery, improves charging, and extends lifespan. As EVs evolve, the role of the BMS will become even more critical. Thanks for watching.